Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all on common eye eyeliner mistakes and what I feel like techniques and things that will help correct these mistakes. So I cannot wait to dive into this with you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's do it. So the first common mistake I see with um, people doing their eyeliner, I see this a lot on public transport too, like on the bus when I see the women doing their um, makeup um, on the way to work, is that they apply eyeliner to just the bottom part of their eye, so just um, the bottom lash line area. With doing this, it causes like an imbalance on the eye, it doesn't look even, it actually closes up the eye and can make you look more tired and drowsy just because having that sh shadow there, that deep, cold, like, or, you know, liquid liner, whatever it is, just sitting there on the bottom of the, of the eye. So what I like to do to correct this little mistake is I'll apply a black coal liner to the tight line of my eye and then I'll apply um, some brown eye coal to the bottom lash line outer corner area and I'll smudge that out with a bit of eyeshadow. And I'll also apply a nude liner to my bottom waterline to really open up the eyes. So this will really create a nice shape to the eye and also make you look really wide awake and fresh. So mistake number two is I see a lot of people lining both their top and bottom waterline. Now we've all been there, I know, I've definitely been there myself. The only thing with lining the whole eye, we're like filling in all the gaps, just the whole eye being completely filled, all black and everything, is that it can really close off the eye. However, this technique does work if you're doing going for a really dark smoky eye effect and you line both the top and bottom waterline. That does work, but in an everyday basis, like an everyday look, it's a little bit much. It can be a little bit too dramatic. So to counteract this mistake, what I like to do, especially to make my eye look bigger, is that I'll apply some liquid liner to my top like lash line. I'll do just a little small wing. And then I'll tight line my upper lash line with some black eye coal. This will really open up the eyes, create a beautiful flattering shape, like a little almond shaped eye, whilst also keeping the eye open and awake and fresh, rather than closing it off with that heavy black liner. So another common mistake is transferring. So when the eyeliner transfers either onto the bottom lash line or the lid space area from the top lash line. Now, ways to counteract this is to apply an eyeshadow similar to the eyeliner color. So say if it's a black eyeliner, we're going to go in with a black eyeshadow. And I just like to set over that eyeliner, whether it be on my bottom waterline, bottom lash line, or on my liner on the top waterline. That way it'll set it in place and it won't transfer throughout the day. Another mistake people can tend to do, and I've definitely definitely been here myself when I've tried to use every little bit of product from my eyeliner, like especially liquid liner, is they'll go in with a dried or old liner and they'll try and do their wing just normally. Unfortunately that'll look really choppy and it doesn't come out as smooth as you would with a really new liquid liner. So just going with a new fresh bottle will help you create that nice sharp wing that you're going for. Another common mistake which I've seen very frequently is a lot of people tend to tug the skin on the outer corner of their eye when they apply their eyeliner. Doing this will actually mess up the shape of your eyeliner whilst also speeding up the aging process because if you're tugging on that skin it's very delicate and sensitive and it'll start to pull and you'll start to get you know, early onset of wrinkles and things like that. And pulling on the skin doesn't actually create the shape, like I said, of the eyeliner that you want. So when the skin bounces back, it'll actually have a different shaped liner than what you would have if you've just gone in straight off the bat and just had your normal eye just like sitting there without it being pulled taut, if that makes sense. So if you are one of these people that does tap, pull on your skin when applying liner, I suggest just tilting your head back, looking down, and then going in and applying your liner from there. Just building up slowly. It's a lot better just to take your time if you aren't used to doing this technique and just practicing. It'll really, really help. But I do suggest staying away from tugging at the skin when applying your liner. Not only because it speeds up the aging process, like I said, but because you don't actually get the best shape from your liner that you could if you just went in straight off the bat and did it from your normal eye. Ooh, this is one. This is a real good one. Is the angle of your wing liner. Now we all have different eye shapes, different sizes and everything like that so we all need to find what angle works best for our eye shape and our face structure. 
I always like to use the guide from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. I have seen a lot of people do it on a quite upward angle. Now, when you do do it on quite an upward angle, it does look a little bit funny. You don't get the best shape out of your, you know, your eye and the wing doesn't really do its job. So what I tend to do is I love to go in with some scotch tape. So any tape that you have, I always like to put on the back of my hand to make sure it's not too sticky and it doesn't pull on my delicate skin around my eye. I'll place it on the angle, like I said, from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. I always like to follow that kind of 45 degree angle. And the best thing about it is I can be as messy as I want with this technique and it just creates the sharpest line ever. This is my favourite um, little do, like the little technique thing of the day, I have to say it's my favourite. <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. So how many of us, I'm guilty of this one too, I feel like a fair few of these, I'm like, ooh, that's me. That's me. That's me. So this one, it's a very, very common one, is we go in with a blunt eye curl. So going with a blunt eye curl and eyeliner, it can tend to look choppy and messy. You don't get that beautiful tapered eye look if you were to go in with a nice, sharp, pointed eye pencil. So clearly the alternative is to have a nice, sharp eye curl. And just see the difference having a sharp eye curl compared to a blunt one. Just the application is just so much different. It looks so much better. You get the proper effect out of your eyeliner application and it just it looks a lot more cleaner. Another common eyeliner um hazard, should we say, not even that eyeliner mistake is applying your liner too thick. So if you're going in and having too thick of an eyeliner it can actually close off the eye. It covers up too much of the lid space and black is a sh kind of shadow effect so it will close the eye off. So when applying, when applying your liner too thick, you're actually not getting the best shape out of your wing or your eyeliner. So what you want to do is just taper it in. So it, try and keep it as close to your lash line as possible and do a cute little outer corner wing and you'll have a beautiful almond shaped eye. You'll look so much more awake and fresh your eyes will be lifted rather than closed off, which would happen having the thick liner. My final mistake for today is the inner corner point, shall we say. So this is when a lot of us will go in and we'll try and do that beautiful like cat eye with a little sharp inner corner. Now, it took me years to perfect this, so I hope I can sum it up for you guys in you know, this video. A tiny amount works best so really I used to try and get that really fierce like Arabic kind of look and I realized that just does not work it just doesn't work for me especially so what we tend to do is we'll go in and we'll just go ham on the inner corner we'll really try and elongate it and just bring it under the lash line and honey it just doesn't end up working out unfortunately I tried so many mistakes in the past let's move on <laughs> um, so what I tend to do is I'll go in and I'll just gradually just millimeter by millimeter just build it up I literally don't want it any bigger than that natural just point on the inner corner of my eye the tear duct area so just a millimeter or so of that liner is enough like a tiny tiny amount is best honey less is best in this case so there you have it guys those are my common eyeliner mistakes and how to correct them the techniques to correct them I really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can join my youtube fam otherwise have an amazing day guys let me know in the comment section below as well if you'd like me to do a series on this with common mistakes with eyeshadows lipsticks um, contour, anything like that. Just let me know if you would like to see um, videos and what you would like to see and I can shortly uh, deliver that for you. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye.